welcome back if you're returning my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of mmos rpgs art music uh obscure video games any of the above then i think you should subscribe because that's what we do here also don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out hey kids it's story time <laughs> on his deathbed sidurdu's Sidur sid's master spoke of a flame of the abyss a concept which Sidurgu and Frey did not understand. In following the creed of their predecessors, they hoped that the meaning would become clear to them in time. Alas, when they intervened to save the life of a young girl, they were marked for death by the Order. Frey was captured and executed in a trial by combat, leaving Sidurgu to care for Riel by himself. Fearing that he cannot handle the task alone, he implores you to join his cause, and you agree. Perhaps now would be a good time to get to know Riel. Though somewhat standoffish, Riel responds to your inquiries as best she can. Satisfied that you have established a rudimentary rapport, Sidurgu interrupts with his latest plan. Since the Temple Knights appear to be convinced that Riel is some sort of abomination, Sidurgu would first determine if there is anything unusual about her. To that end, he proposes that you seek out a Vanu healer in the Sea of Clouds, as some are said to possess the ability to see their patients either. Rendezvous with him in Camp Cloudtop. For the most part, the Vanu Vanu are disinclined to parlay with outsiders. However, they may be willing to grant your request in exchange for a suitable offering. Sidurgu asks that you seek out its like Astornis for their feathers, as it is said the Vanu use them in their rituals. You procure the feathers with little difficulty. Journey now into Vanu territory and pray that you can find a healer willing to hear you out. Fortuitously, you encounter a Vanu healer willing to examine Riel in exchange for your offering of feathers. Arms held high, she begins chanting, her voice rising in intensity, until she gasps in surprise. A great spirit dwells within her. The healer begins, but before she can finish, she senses others following in your wake and flees. Turning towards the road, Sidurgu readies his sword and bids you search for your pursuers while the he guards Riel. You come upon Temple Knights who mark you for a foe at once. The battle is joined and soon ended. Return to Sidurgu and let him know what you found. With the Vanu healer long gone, there is no reason to remain in the Sea of Clouds. Return to the Forgotten Knight with Sidurgu and Riel. Cursing the Temple Knights for their savagery, Sidurgu nearly flies into a rage until Riel's sudden apology for being the cause of your distress saps the Dark Knight of his anger. Though the motives of the Temple Knights yet remain a mystery, it is clear now that there is something rather unusual, <laughs> rather unusual about the young girl they so fervently pursue. Kindred Spirits who better to tell you more of the great spirit than those who commune with spirits regularly? For that reason, Sidurgu hopes that the conjurers of Still Glade Fane can offer insight into Riel's condition. He notes that the road to Gridania will offer many opportunities for the Temple Knights to attack. At the very least, you should be safe as far as Camp Dragonhead. Suspecting that the Temple Knights are nearby, Sidurgu offers to scout out the road to the Observatorium. Stay with Riel and follow him at a distance. Not long after you part ways, the Temple Knights attack, spurring you and Riel to make haste to the Observatorium. Though the Knights are no match for you, their numbers are legion, and you find yourself growing weary from the struggle. However, Riel's conjury proves surprisingly potent, and you are able to fend off your attackers until you reach the safety of the Observatorium's walls. Sudugu chides himself for leaving your side and bids you make haste to Gridania before the Temple Knights return with reinforcements. Seek out Brother Isumi Yalan at the Conjurer's Guild and beg his assistance. After a cursory examination, Brother Isumi Yalan states that the Vanu Shaman spoke true after a fashion. Riel's innate spiritual presence does indeed bear similarities to that of the Elementals and the Dravenians. Citing an ancient legend in which a man ingested the blood of dragons to become one himself, he speculates that Riel may have partaken of the blood of an ancient Dravenian. Though Sidurgu is unnerved by the implication, Riel's feelings are unclear, her face an unreadable mask. Before you embark for Ishgard, Brother E. Sumiyan suggests you rest a while at the Carlian Canopy. Frustrated by her silence in the face of Brother E. Sumiyan's suggestion, Sidurgu presses Riel for an explanation. She pauses, and then, with a faraway look in her eyes, she speaks softly of her imprisonment in a windowless cell with walls so thick she could not even hear the rain. She denies drinking dragon blood and claims that she was never accused of such. 
As for their reasons, she intones that her captor simply said it's better this way. Uncertain how to respond, Sudurgu excuses himself and steps outside, leaving you to look after Riel until she has finished eating. As you watch Riel eat, you start to wonder how long she was kept in her cell and how she passed the time in solitude. Afterwards, she thanks you for waiting and heads outside to find Sudurgu. Eager to quit the forest, Sudurgu departs with Riel. Return to the Forgotten Night and speak with them there. Blessedly, you and Sudurgu meet with no trouble on the road back to Ishgard. Recognizing that he has yet to adequately rec recompense you for your services, he resolves to share what knowledge of the dark arts he has with you. I've been thinking, Burr. The Pasha likened Riel's spiritual presence to that of a Dravenian, hence why he suggested she had partaken of dragon blood. Regardless of the cause, if she does hold some affinity with dragons, she will never be safe here in Ishgard. If being the operative word, of course. We need to know for certain, which means we must parlay with a Dravenian. Parlay? It will not be easy, I realize. The Dravenians are not wont to entertain outsiders, especially ones hailing from Ishgard. You... You have spoken with their leaders. Beg pardon, I did not think you had so readily admit it. Well, well, pray lead the way, Burr. Who did this to this girl? What did they do? Long time no see. Thou keepest curious company, mortal. I see. Though I trust in thy words, thy companions are unknown to me. A token, then, for them to declare their intent. I would have them gather up Gron Elm in Evelonia Fallen and bring it to me. Firstly, you must find another shrubbery! But where are the beasts which are drawn by their fragrance? Okay, we gotta go kill some monsters. You're good at that. <laughs> right then, gathering flowers for a dragon. No point in questioning it. Oh, whatever, my flowers. Riel and I will search the land north of here. You can take this out. Did you miss us? Such fragile fleeting creations bring them close, mortal, that I might breathe deep of their essence. That which passeth into death liveth on in memory. One prepareth now for the journey. Bid farewell to her and mourn, and find the answer you s thou seek. There's a dying dragon. That's sad. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> oh, and that's a murder friend. <laughs> it all blends in together. That's terrifying if you think about it. Like that huge chocobo just charging at you. Whoa. <laughs> That's fancy. Is she... Above us? Below us? <gasps> hey! That's my other brother! Let me linger a while longer, Hunter. Soon my soul shall take the wing. <laughs> Here, have some flowers. <sighs> I shall miss this. Oh. Vidofna bade you come to me. His scent entwined. Ah, I see now. We seek no quarrel, O oh Agent One. Only answers. Come forward, child. There you are, my beloved. How? How long hath it been since we soared through the mists? What? What did you say? Silence, Dark One. He liveth on in you, child. The blood of my beloved floweth strong in thy veins. Yes, mingled as it is, t'was not thee who partook of his essence. Were it not so, thou wouldst have been overcome. Thy progenitors drank deep to spur their own becoming. Then, that it is true, and the Temple Knights knew. Then they will never stop. They cannot. Even if we flee Ishgard. If, if 
we could but harness the abyss. Thou speakest strange, dark one. What dost thou seek? Oh, shrouded in thy rancor, thou standest apart from thy charge. The folly of youth. Even the tiny beings who frolic in the midst of Psalm all know a better way. What? Who? <laughs> who? No more, dark one. No more. She's like, shut up. <sighs> Farewell, child. Fly free. For us. Goodbye. And thank you. There's not more for us here. To Ishgard. Ishgard. Oh my gosh. My immersion. What's the verdict? What are you gonna do with this little girl? Phrasing? This changes nothing. I swore an oath to protect her and I mean to uphold it, no matter the cost. So these are the knights who would defy the will of Halone. She! She's found us! My lady surely knows she will find few friends here. Blessed are we who abide in her grace, for we shall never be forsaken. One day I, Easter de Colignor, will shall walk in her halls and you shall answer for your deeds. Will you stand before her and claim you were righteous, that it was just to take so many lives in defense of that abomination? Repent of your sins and surrender it to me. The fury may yet spare your souls. So yours is the righteous cause. To condemn a girl to death for her parents' deeds, this is the will of Halone. Yes. Yes, it is. If you will not see reason, even with full knowledge of the facts, then I make to you a f all a final offer. Submit to a trial by combat. Oh, not another one! Survive, and you may go in peace. Fall, and it is mine. Refuse, and I will put this tavern to the torch and have the heads of every man, woman, and child here. Anyone who dares harbor you will suffer the same, here or elsewhere. This, I swear to you. Would that we could settle this here and now, but I'd wager your men at the doors would take offense. As you wish, my lady. You shall have your trial. I shall send a messenger with details. M mother wait! Oh no, it's her mom! <gasps> I should have had them cut out your tongue. Rial, what in the seven hells is going on? She, she told them to take me. She said I wasn't hers. That I was... Why didn't you tell me this was all your mother's doing? I bled for you. Frey died for you. We had a right to know. I... I didn't be for... God damn it all. Leave us, Burr. I need time to think. Wow, that's messed up. It took considerable effort, but at last I have learned the whole truth. Attend to me, Burr. You have a right to know. For countless generations, the sons and daughters of House Kellignon to have pledged themselves to the church, so devoted to the faith they are. Many rose to positions of great prominence within that clergy. And for a time, Countess Eastred de Kellignon was poised to do the same. And when she and her husband celebrated the birth of their firstborn, the futures of the house seemed brighter than ever. That is, until years later, when the Inquisitors came, information gleaned during an interrogation had implicated her husband as a heretic. When the Countess confronted him with these allegations, he brought a vial to his lips and completed his transformation. What he proudly declared was decades in the making. The Temple Knight slew him as he tried to rip out her throat. Afterwards, she had Riel locked away in the deepest cell she could find. Madness. What monster thinks to find absolution in her daughter's death? You mustn't go. She'll kill you. She'll kill us anyway if we don't. I... I know what I'm doing, Riel. I have a plan. Burr, recall you the dragon's words when we told her of our dark arch. She said that there were tiny beings who knew a better way. If they can teach us how to harness the abyss, mayhap we can stand against Lady Eastred and her minions. Unfortunately, I haven't the foggiest who these tiny beings might be. Well, you walk in there looking like the way you look, and you're gonna get ogled, hogled, moogled, and boogled. Well, if it isn't one of the new visitors from below, are you searching for something? If so, I just ask. 
Or just ask. I pride myself on being the second most well-informed Moogle here, Kupo. My, that's a rather grim way of living, isn't it? I can't say I've ever heard of knights so infatuated with darkness. However, I think I might know why she made you visit us. Go ahead and fetch your friends. We have an awful lot to talk about, Kupo. Kupo! <laughs> Welcome to Mog Home, Kupo. The little one must be Rael, which makes the big one Sid, right? Yes. I presume you are one of the tiny, tiny beings of whom the dragon spoke. Riel, say something to the Moogle. Riel? <laughs> da da da. Riel! <laughs> I'm sick of this charade. You tell me to talk, but then you refuse to listen. You tell me you're doing this for me, but then you go on about the darkness and the abyss. Am I supposed to be grateful when you come back covered in blood? When I put you back together so you could do it again? You drag me to halfway across the world so you can discover a new way to kill yourself, and you tell me it's for my sake? <laughs> Why are we here, Sudurgu? Tell me the real reason. Yeah, lie. Of course it's for your sake. Well, you certainly had a lot of practice saying it, haven't you? I'm sure the next fair maiden will appreciate it. What are you saying? It's not like that, Rael. And you! Say something, dare you! <laughs> this guy's angry. Ah, I think I'm beginning to understand this whole darkness concept, Koopa. Harnessing the power of your emotions or some such, yes? I'm reminded of an ancient legend about a Moogle named Bog. Rather simple name, I know. But those were simpler times, Koopo. Anyway, Bog had a penchant for dancing and... Wait, wait. What does dancing have to do with the dark arts? Everything, Koopo. Everything. The point is, your master was absolutely right when he told you to submit to the flame. You just never figured out what he meant by it. But better late than never, Koopo. Master Moggy will show you the way. First, you two Dark Knights will need to pull four sprigs of palm wart each. Hop to it, Koopo. I fail to see what the purpose this serves, but fine. You will have your precious palm wart. Oh, and Riel can stay here with us while you're away. Let's go, Burr. Strength is pain, strength is suffering, strength is sacrifice, God, sod this. There you are, darkest dark one of the dark. Have you brought my palm wart? Darkest dark one. Very nice, very nice, Kubo. That must have kept you busy for a while. For your next trial, you must, er, uh, you must call to the hands, Kubo. Rather, a lot of them have been sighted on the road to Asa. If you wait there long enough, they're sure to show up, Kubo. Riel, oh, you needn't worry about her. She's off playing with some friends of mine, Kubo. Just focus on the trial and wait for me and Asa when you're finished. Oh my gosh, what are they doing to her? What the hells are we doing, Burr? What could Moogles possibly know about mastering the dark arts? Wahaha, <laughs> foolish fools. Oh gosh. Right then, what's all this? While you two are busy gathering palm ward and slaying to the hands, we kidnap real Kubo. Wahaha. <laughs> oh yes, Kubo, we've had so much fun playing together. So much fun indeed, Kubo. So much fun that we thought we might keep her here forever. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. If you don't believe us, go and look. You'll never find her, Koopo. Not in a million years. Wahaha. <laughs> She's ours, Koopo. You'll never see her again. Wahaha. <laughs> oh, you're sick! You're sick! <laughs> you, you furry little shites. Give it back to me now, or I swear, I will kill every last one of you and burn your village to cinders. Oh my gosh, the Moogles! Yowch, you really could have hurt someone carrying on like that, Koopo. That's the bloody point. Now tell me where is she is if you want to live. Wait, wait! <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Why do you want her back so badly, Koopo? What kind of question is that? You kidnapped her. But you don't seem to like having her around that much anyway, right? She's just a burden to you. So why do you care what happens to her? I... I swore an oath to protect her. That's what we Dark Knights do. You think that will give you strength enough to protect her? Duty and honor? I'll tell you what you need, Koopo. Daughter, is it justice? How bland. Could it be that the darkness is born of a light, a flame burning for another? How grand! <laughs> oh my goodness. Tis love! Tis love! All powerful, shining love! <laughs> Rather blunt, I'll admit, but subtlety doesn't seem to be your strong suit, Koopo. <laughs> Riel. Well, here we are. Go on, Riel. Say your piece. I know you and Frey were trying to do right by your master. That you came to my defense because you believed that's what he would have wanted. And I know you only did that because you believed it would make you stronger. Because all you truly care about is killing more Temple Knights. I've seen how you look at them. How you curse them under your breath. How you relish every opportunity to cut them down. So don't tell me what I, that it's all been for me. Don't tell me that Frey died for me. Everything I have done, I have done for my mother and my father, for my master, and yes, most of all, for me. <laughs> I haven't been honest with you, nor with myself, and for that I am sorry. I will stand for you in this coming trial, but after, what happens after will be your decision. Good. That's a promise. Go. Oh. Well, now that everyone's being honest with each other. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you're interested, that link is below. And that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.